guys, it's Erin here at Eat Move Rest and welcome back to our kitchen. So as you all know, it is Super Bowl season and that means parties with friends and families, all kinds of get togethers and we need something bomb to bring with. So we're gonna show you guys our vegan loaded nachos and or romaine tacos and stay tuned because we've got a couple great recipes involved in this. So there's going to be our lentil walnut taco meat, which is incredible. And then we've got our vegan nacho cheese, a great guac recipe that's really simple, and salsa or pico de gallo, and a few other toppings that we like to load up our nachos with. So stay tuned. <laughs> okay, if you guys like this video and you wanna see more, give us a thumbs up, leave us some love below, leave us a comment, tell us what you liked, maybe what you didn't like or what you want to see in the future. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell notification so you get alerted every time we post. And don't forget to follow us on all social media platforms. We're really loving Instagram right now. You can find us at Aaron Stanzik and DB Stanzik. And let's get cooking. <laughs> For our Super Bowl guacamole, all you will need is avocado, a little bit of tomato, a little bit of onion, garlic powder, salt and pepper to taste, and there is really no measurement of any of these ingredients. Basically, you just need as many avocados as mouths you're going to feed because guac is incredible and then you can add these ingredients to your liking. You can also add a squeeze of lime and cilantro. Next up on our loaded nachos, salsa. For your salsa, you will need three large tomatoes, about a half cup of onion, cilantro, salt and pepper to taste, a squeeze of lemon or lime, and a dash of garlic powder. We're gonna go ahead and place all of our ingredients into our food processor. Now all we need to do is pulse until we get the desired texture. If you want a chunkier salsa, you do less pulsing. If you want it more watery, a little bit more. You could also do the same feature in your blender, just making sure not to over blend it or you'll get tomato soup, which is good too. Next up, it's time for our veganized nacho cheese. And this is where stuff gets really fun and really delicious. For your vegan nacho cheese, you will need one and a half cups of raw cashews, soaked for at least 30 minutes, rinsed and strained, three tablespoons of nutritional yeast, a half teaspoon of sea salt or Himalayan salt, a half teaspoon of cumin, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, a pinch of chili powder, and a half teaspoon of turmeric for color. So we're gonna place all of our ingredients into our mini food processor, or a blender works great. And then you'll also want to add in just a touch of hot water until you get the desired thickness or wateriness of your vegan cheese. Taste. <laughs> okay, so finally to our protein packed, my vegan lifeline food, 
The green lentil, lentil, oh gosh. Okay, so now on to my favorite, my vegan lifeline food, my protein packed lentil walnut meat. So for this recipe, you'll need two cups of green lentils, a half cup of raw walnuts, a full tablespoon of cumin, just a dash of chili powder, a full tablespoon of oregano, a teaspoon of garlic powder, salt and pepper to taste. When your lentils are done cooking, put them in your strainer and rinse them in cold water. You have to get them really cold or they won't blend up. They'll turn, if they're hot, they'll turn into a mush. So make sure you put them in the strainer and rinse them under cold, cold water before you blend them up. Okay, so we had just a few leftover onions. So I actually threw them in the cooked lentils and let them kind of saute up in there for just a minute. It gives a little bit more flavor. From there, just add your spices, your walnuts, crack it with some salt and pepper. You can always add more at the end. And kind of like the pico de gallo, blend it up till you get the consistency that you want. So this stuff looks and tastes just like ground beef. It's protein packed, got those healthy carbs and zero cholesterol. All right, you guys, so I'm super excited to show you everything we whipped up. The best thing to do, we recommend, is just setting everything in its own individual bowl and make a buffet line of it so that everybody can go through and either load up their romaine boats or tortillas if you want tortillas and or make a giant plate of loaded nachos. So we're gonna each do our own version of that and we'll show you what we come up with and give you a taste test. Another fun thing you can do instead of loaded nachos, if you don't care for the chips, is you can make romaine tacos. They are one of my favorites. All right, you guys, so here they are. This is an example of a romaine taco boat, and you better believe I'm gonna be eating more than one of these bad boys. Yep. And then we've got our vegan loaded nachos. Yes. Ready for the Super Bowl. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys are loving on these loaded nacho ingredients, we'd love it if you'd give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Join the Eat, Move, Rest fam and hit that bell to make sure your notifications are turned on. Check out our feeds on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter. We're at Aaron Stanzik at DB Stanzik. And leave us some love in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you guys. Who are you rooting for this football season? And what's going to be on your plate? Yep. <laughs> Eat, move, and rest your best. Bye, Thanks, guys. guys. <laughs> oh. <laughs>